friends, I want us to believe and pray. Therefore, I'll share the word of God and God will bless us. Friend, let's pray. Lord, I thank you for this moment. I thank you as I'm going to share your word. Lord, may you speak to us. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. My good friend, this is one word I want us to dig deeper. But because of time, I only share it for five minutes. Therefore, I've heard many preachers calling people, saying that, place your prayers, place anything you want, I'll pray for you and God will answer you. But before that, you need to send me money. Before that, uh, God wants you to give so that he may, he, he may open ways for you. I'll tell you, my friend, nothing like that. You are a blessed saint of God. When God blessed Abraham, he knew his destiny and he even showed him by the stars up there. Praise the name of Jesus. Therefore, my friend, as you continue in your life, know that nobody will steal your star. People are lying to you that your star can be stolen by anybody. Nowhere someone can steal your star. Nowhere that can someone run with your star. Your star remains your star because God fixed it in you. Because God is the one who created you. Nobody can remove your star. Believe this or not, your star remains your star. Abraham believed in God and God, him, God get, gave him Isaac. Many people, I know many people approached him. It doesn't matter whether the Bible says it or not. Many people told him, many friends told him, you're not having kids. You don't have your own child. Do this and this. Same, same to your life. People will tell you that your star has been stolen. People will come to your life and tell you, you are, you are cursed. But I come to tell you, by your own Believe in God that your star is there with you. If you believe that God has set your star in your hand, nobody can run with it. Those are lies. Nobody can remove your heart and fix it somewhere else. That is your heart. Nobody can remove your brain and take it somewhere else. That is yours. God created you with it. Let us go to the Bible. In the book of, 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 of Genesis, Chapter 13, verses 14, the Bible says this way. Let us read very fast, then we pray. The Bible says this way. Now when Abraham heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his 308 trained foot. Uh, sorry, um, uh, verses, uh, verses 14, sorry. I was reading uh, chapter 14. Uh, that is chapter 13, verses 14. Listen. And the Lord said to Abraham, After Lord had separated from him, lift your eyes now and look from the place where you are northwards, southwards, eastward, and westward. For all the land which you see, I give to you and your descendant forever. Nothing God can give to you and it can be removed by someone else. I assure you that God gave you brain. Nobody will remove it from you. God gave you knowledge. Nobody can remove it from you and give it to someone else. That is lies. People come and, and lie to you that your knowledge can be transferred to someone else. Nowhere. The only God who can do that. No man can do that. Listen very carefully. Verse 16 says this way. And I will make your descendant as the dust of the earth. So that if a man could number the dust of the earth, then your descendant also could be numbered. Arise, walk in the land through its length and its width, for I give it to you. Verse 18 says, Then Abraham moved his tent and went and dwelt by the Terebith, three 
of three of of Mamea, Mameas, which are in Hebron, and built an altar there to the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. If you build an altar to your life, if you build an altar to the way you walk with God, everything will work in your way. Nobody is cast. Abraham was not cast. Praise the name of Jesus. Same, same way to, to Joseph. If you follow the life of Joseph, Joseph was no, not cast, but his brothers rejected him. How many people say that you are rejected? Kill yourself. How many people can come to your life and tell you, your life is not okay. Someone has told you this and this and this. No what? No what, my friend? Nobody has stolen anything from you. It is you to reverse your mind. And focus on God. It is you to reverse yourself. And know that God can do it. Friend, today God can do it in your life. Today, know that the destiny belongs to you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for my friends who have just heard the word. Lord, thank you for them. Lord, let them know that their star will never move out of them. Lord, Almighty Father, give them knowledge. Give them wisdom to understand your, your word. To understand your knowledge. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray and believe. Amen. You're there. You're not born again. This is a moment. I want you to repeat this word behind me as we pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come before you. I am a sinner. I've sinned against you. Jehovah, forgive me. Jehovah, write my name in the book of life. Lord, I thank you such from today. I'll follow you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Be forgiven. My friend, know that God will walk with you. Know that your star is with you. Know that everything God has set in you, it is yours. In Jesus' mighty name. Therefore, you can subscribe my channel there, BBSN channel, and also you can like my Facebook, Caldi Brand, Facebook, Caldi Brand, Instagram, Caldi Brand, Twitter, Caldi Brand, and also my contact number is plus two five four. That's the code number of Kenya. Therefore, seven two zero eight two six one five nine. That's my number, and God will bless you. And also, like, like, like. Like, subscribe, subscribe, and God will richly bless you. In anything you do, God is there. In anything you do, your star will rise with you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Walk with Jesus. Thank you.